Hey guys, it's Ryu here with a part 2 for hard surface modeling in Blender with add-ons. Now my voice is gone, but my spirit is not, so let's keep going. What I want to do is create a, like an interior, so like a tubing or conduit or whatever inside. And let's maybe, let's grab this piece and... Okay, so let's cut a circle in... Let's create this tube here in the middle. So let's go to our box cutter and press J to create a new shape. Let's rotate this and let's shift it to life so it's gonna be easier to do this. Grab this face, GY, and there we go. How are we looking? Let's go to auto orthographic so we can see. Yeah, that's that's good enough. Now I'm gonna add some some loops uh, just in case because we will get some beveling issues in here for sure once we apply the boolean. And um, what I want to do is um, grab this piece and Control Plus a few times and maybe that's too many and just scale it like this. And then scale it and shift Y to scale it on every axis except Y axis and see how it looks. Yeah, it looks good. So now let's actually grab this and go to box and view, switch it off and let's cut it uh, like this maybe. Yeah, just press X and cut it. Oh wait, we're gonna cut through the whole mesh. We need to make it smaller. I forgot it's a... Uh, it's a union boolean, so this may be too close. I don't want to go too close to the edges. In fact, you know what? Let's get even narrower so I can create some kind of a uh, like a ceiling, sort of like a bracing around this uh, this tubing. So what I'm gonna do is um, apply the modifier here. So let's multiply and grab these two pieces. They're already selected, you see, which is perfect. Get out of this x-ray mode and go to um actually let's um let's inset them just a little bit and inset them just a little bit like this and press q and um not circle this one curve extract there you go see we get some kind of a cool ceiling effect uh, let's place this um, solidify before the boolean, uh, before the bevel, I mean. And let's maybe decrease this bevel just a tiny bit. They look like metal bracers or something. We might add some kind of a... Might add some kind of a... Um, details to this later. Well, this one should be glass, uh, for sure. But before we do that... Um, let's... Uh, Let's bring this to local mode, and uh, yeah, we need to apply all the booleans because this is. If you go to edit mode, you can see <laughs> it's kind of confusing, isn't it? Um, all the booleans needs to be applied. So, in fact, you know what? Let's just go with uh, smart apply. Now it's PG. So let's grab this uh, face and this face, inset them a little bit. In fact, you know what? Now let's delete them. So delete the faces and we just simply go into uh, curve extract, um, maybe inside. And do we need... No, we don't. So let's just simply go here and turn it to glass with hard ops. Every time I apply glass, it sort of slows down for a second. I don't know why. Maybe something's been calculated. Now let's see um, how we look in here. There is a piping inside, right? Interesting. We could actually use this piping. So let's bring the uh, um, the shifters. By the way, is uh, is from Machine Tools. That's another pipe menu. This one is just awesome. I don't have to go to this stupid, you know, um, object thing here and uh, look for. Um, I don't even remember where it was. Um, origin to geometry thing so annoying I mean I got everything I need on the shift s here it's just so good another add-on for this is um, 
it's called snapping pies i think jerry is using this master zeon i don't know he prefers it i prefer actually machine tools it's really cool i don't think you can use them both because they will clash so anyway um shift and i mean s and shift y let's bring it to local mode and let's select these two i think i added a little bit too many of those loops on this pipe that's a bit crazy i'm thinking if decimate wouldn't help here let's try it uh, if it's gonna work so let's go to um modifiers decimate and then we need to do is actually let's switch the bevel off and wait to normals and go to unsubdivide by two so let's apply it yeah it's much better i think it was just too many we got some triangulations in here though that doesn't look good but um hmm we can always cut it you know so we can do this uh let's remove the verts and we can symmetrize it like this and everything is perfect now we have a little bit too many loops in this area, so we can just simply remove them. Whoops, not this one, this one. There we go. Add some more loops in here. Again, symmetrize it. And everyone is happy. Okay, so um, what I want to do is actually grab these loops. So grab the loops and go to select um, similar and here direction that's the one and i don't need this you know the edge one i mean the ones on the edge and i don't need these two i just need the ones in the middle so do something like this e cancel with the right mouse button and bring it inside like this sy and change here to individual origins sy and scale it like that perfect so now I'm going to add material to it. Actually, you know, before we do that, let's actually extend this here and again symmetrize it. This will add some loop in the middle probably, yeah. So let's remove it. And um, uh, material, right? Um, now let's switch to principle and then we're going to create another element here. So sphere. Let's bring this sphere here. And Alt-M mod emission and turn off pull come on turn off pulse there we go and let's grab this pipe again and let's select these um these loops really quickly press plus here to add material and emission sign go back and let's see how we're looking Come on, here. There we go. Let's turn this off because I'm getting blinded. Uh, looks good. Um, it's a little bit too dim. So shift and grab this window. I'm going to bring it to another screen. Actually, I might show you what I'm doing first. But uh, I like to have it on a second screen. I usually have uh, one window on left screen, another one on, on the right screen. And I'm working on the middle screen. Where is it? What? Uh, what? Ah, it was behind the window, right? So, um, what I want to do? I forgot what I wanted to do. Oh yes, shading. My mind is going too. It's just not just my voice. I think my voice is following my mind, and I'm losing my mind, which is why I'm losing my voice. Um, object, right? Where is it? Where are you, you bastard? They are. Okay. So, we're on the mission shader, right? So, that the mission shader is definitely not a good one. So, let's move this in here. This color looks awful because it's too dark. Let's bring it up. Yeah. Now, that's sexy light. I like me some sexy light. There we go. That's much better. And this glass, the, it's just the color needs to change because we cannot have glass like this. It just has to be blue. Um, so let's grab this glass here and change it to kind of like a bluish tint. Do we want it brighter? Maybe. And dim this down. 
Yeah, something like this. Don't overdo it because the light is blue and the glass is blue. So if you oversaturate, it's going to look weird. But this is kind of cool. Another thing, we're going to have another window on outside, outside here, right? So we need to see how it looks. So let's go to material. Ouch. And my eyes were just poked. Right. Well, let's let's keep applying random stuff because we might actually say, "Oh, that one is nice." So we might get something cool like this, for instance. And this one is so so. I let's turn off box cutter because it's messing with my keys. So Alt M. Okay, that's better. Um, and here. Alt M. Oh, this one is nice. That's a sci-fi sexiness over there. All right. So what I'm going to do actually is grab these three and copy material like that. And I'm going to work on this one a bit. Let's see what we're going to get. Oh, this one is nice too. So let's make it a bit darker or actually um add some clear coat and clear coat the roughness it's gonna add a bit of depth to it um i want it kind of dark but not too dark maybe like this is it too bright a bit too bright let's change this uh, awful oh now we go there we go that's what i want flood lighting i love flood lighting it's just uh so posh near chrome no it's not my thing i don't like uh, shiny things i like matte things because they look good yeah that's that's gonna do for a while for, for for the time being and i will be changing color of these um um in in i mean this these pipes here those sort of i don't know how they call this tubes yeah it's a bit dull though i need to um spice it up a bit so Darken it down. Let's grab this here. Let's see how it's gonna look. No, that's boring. We also have no bevels, I think. So there we go. Bevels gonna actually improve how things look. Not this one. I want a bevel. Yeah, see. Now we're getting some edges going on. Weighted normals and sharpen bevel right in bevel here. Weighted normals, good. Now, let's see. Awful. Absolutely ghastly. This needs to be dark, first of all. That's the first thing. So we can actually drop this down. See what we're getting in here. I don't want it to be pure black. Um, this one definitely should be silver ish right that's better and maybe it should be the other way around so this one should be dark or maybe this color and this one should be silver i really like this material it's really cool we can enhance it later is it the same thing uh yeah no it wasn't okay this one is weighted normal so i think yeah and this one, I think, too. I don't know if it has it. There we go. That's better. And this one, too. There's some shading issue in here. Why am I seeing things? Also, this bevel. It's a wrong bevel. There we go. Yeah, there is some... Ah! Right. The joys of bullions. Okay, then. Uh, let's fix it, shall we? So, let's bring it to local. That's a good example of fixing shading. Now, the first problem I see here is that we don't have sharp edges. So let's grab this and sharpen the edges. Boom. That was the problem. I need to change my default Blender settings because I think I was fiddling with settings and forgot to uh, set it properly. I actually have to make a video on setting Blender from scratch. Um, I do it quite a lot and I think it might be maybe helpful for some people who need to do it and they don't really know how to but there's so many things you need to remember but you know when you do it many times over 
um, you get used to it. So let me explain. Um, I'm removing these edges because they go at a really steep angle to the bevel and that usually creates a really ugly shading so I want to keep it clean. Even though it's a flat surface I like my stuff clean so let's just simply symmetrize it and everything is good. I don't know what this is doing in here but um, let's just remove it. I don't need all these edges here so we can combine this we can combine this too by pressing J that's okay so it's kind of like a loop across doesn't really matter because it's a flat surface but hey I'm part German so um this one I think it's okay how's the uh, Uh, the bevel is not, I mean, the uh, boolean is not applied yet. Okay, perfect. We don't have to worry about it then. Okay, power is safe because blender. And yeah, this one looks awful. So the black thing outside is okay, but this one needs to change. So let's do this. Let's inset it first. My voice is going again. Oh my god, this bloody voice. Okay, so inset it and select this and extrude. Not too deep. Scale it inset it, extrude it again, scale it, and extrude it, good, now set it to a small size, actually we don't have to do it because we have this pipe already going on, right, perfect, so let's do the same thing here, so grab this, how was it again, oh yeah, um, so extrude, actually a little bit, a little bit deeper, so I can't see what I'm doing again, so extrude somewhere here, then scale it, inset, extrude, scale it, and extrude, right? Good. Right. What the hell is going on here? So watch this now, I got some shading problems in here, right? And I think it's a double G, you see that? Now, let me show you machine tools in action. A3, done. I, I, I swear, people who work without add-ons, they just, they need to shrink. Because seriously, like, for real, you, you need to see a doctor. Because he's just working against your, against logic. I mean, you work against logic. And I'm just like, seriously, what the hell? How much time are you saving working with add-ons? And let me remind you, time is money. And, uh, you know, 100, what is it, like box cutter and hard ups is a bundle, right? 37 bucks. Mesh machine and machine tools, that's 40 each, that's 80. On a discount, it's not even 60 bucks, okay? It's $170, right? So if, if there is a discount on websites, you got like 60 bucks, you know? What the hell is a 60 bucks? It's a few pizzas, come on. I mean, even if you know. If you have a computer and you're doing 3D, it means you know you can afford 60 bucks. Or if you don't, you just get a job and do it, you know. And uh, and the amount of time you save and um, and health issues that you avoid um, are mind-boggling. Now I'm thinking that what I'm gonna do is insert a loop in here, and I'm going to split it like this and. Select these edges and split them like this. E console Alt S and shrink them in. Right, and I can actually G H, I mean G Y, and move them this way. Yeah, that looks pretty dope in it. Yeah, that's a sexy tube. Do not use it out of context. E scale S on the inside and GY do the same thing, peachy that looks pretty dope now what I want to do is you see I want to grab these ridges in here I don't know if they're not too big though that's the problem but we will see one, two, th whoops, three and the middle part as well so this one and this one and this one and then let's go to material and emission and boom christmas tree 
How are we looking? Why? I cannot see anything. What? Really now? Wait a second. Something is fish. Ah! Right, we got a double geo in here or something. Oh, that's a cup. Ang about. Ang about. Ang about. Let's remove these two faces. Now we're talking. Okay. Fascinating. So let's remove the card. We have a war on our hands. Cutters is three. I mean, edit mode, that's why. Come on. What? What is going on here? Let's try again. Alt H and cutters. Oh, cutters is four. My bad. I can't even count. All right. So, right. These, yeah, these now need to be the silver thing. See? Boom. Yeah. Now we're talking. Where's my window? Window glass. Yeah. Looking good. Okay. Looks good. And you know what? I think that this pipe inside, not this one, this one, should also be silver. So what material is this? 006. Okay. So let's grab this thing in the middle and switch it to 006. Boom. Much better. Okay. It's going to reflect some light and it's going to look really cool. Okay. Nice. I like it. And now, just to make it really fun, uh, we're going to uh, glass, remove this glass. And this one too, you know, I'm going to move it to glass, so I don't have to worry about it. And go to normal mode, so I can actually see something. Let's um, drop a cursor in here and quad sphere and make it smaller like this. Actually, you know what? No, we can grab a um, icosphere. I don't know why all is called ecosphere. What the hell is an icosphere? I don't even know. If you guys know what's icosphere, let me know. Um, I want to use a different material, different emission. So something like this, and really like saturate it. Let's go to my, yeah, that's better. And where's my shading? There it is. And make it really bright. But to actually see what I'm doing, I need to bring my glass back in. Yeah, that is good. Nice. So now I'm just going to Alt D. So if I do Alt D, it's creating um, copies of uh, the same item. Uh, the same object but they sort of linked so if you go to this data here you can see that they're linked so if you change um, attributes of one for instance if we change um, coloring right and uh, they will all update so it's a really cool way of working this way so remember all D now we're getting some s um, strange reflections but this might be due to a viewport issue so settings uh, viewport are we in EV H HQ, uh, HQ we are in EV HQ hmm fascinating what well, we will see how this will uh, actually um, render but uh, These reflections are not too, uh, not too cool. But anyway, uh, let's keep cloning these things because I don't have enough of them. Make it smaller and clone it here. Maybe one in here. Perfect. And now we need to move them um, on on x-axis because they you know they're on one plane so let's move them on x a little bit so they're not 
in one spot. There we go. Perfetto. Nice. Is this class white? That's disgusting. Absolutely revolting. Cannot be allowed. Glass can be white. Needs to be blue. Like an Asari from Mass Effect. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Looking sexy. Really sexy. Now, what I want to add is something on those tubes because they look boring. And let's grab this. Um, these. Um, see, that one is not looping because we got some uh, problem in here, but we can clean this up. Let me show you another add-on in action, which is called Mesh Machine. <laughs> Mesh Machine. All these machine add-ons are just so goddamn good. I mean, this guy is a coding god. And now there's a mesh machine 2.0 coming, uh, decal machine 2.0 coming out. I can't blow the weight. We're gonna have emissive freaking, um, what do you call these things? Uh, decals, right? I mean, Atlas maps, trim sheets. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. I can't blow the weight. Like, it's just, he's dropping teasers, like, you know, every few days, and I'm like, dude, come on, let's go. So now, what I'm gonna do is turn this off so we can see. Go to um, my vert mode and press Y and go to Boolean Cleanup. And now you can see I can scroll my wheel and choose a mode. And I just move my mouse and it merges all the verts for me. Then if I wanted to, I could go to Offset, so Y. And offset, and I could actually offset an edge outside if I wanted to. I mean, do that in Vanilla Blender. And I'll see you next Sunday. So, we need to fix these. You see, I told you before about edges going steep into bevels, and that's what's causing usually shading issues. So, now the trick is to not to disturb. Um, the geometry because remember that this these edges are actually supporting the curve So you can't whoops you can't really disturb them too much But at the same time we need to you know sort of fix it because it looks like junk What is going on in here? Are these too close to the bevel? These might be too close to the bevel. Let's slide them up a bit. No, I think it's this one that's causing the issue So we could actually move it a bit outside like this and it's gonna be fine and this one should go a bit steeper here, boom. And these ones are too close, so this one needs to move here. And conse consequently, this one has to move here. And we're good. And this one cannot be here, has to be here, because it's too steep. There you go, see, done. And the shading looks kind of okay. It's not perfect, it's okay. So now if I, for example, wanted to use... Um, Let's actually let's fix the bottom as well because bottom needs fixing too. And the bottom part here, see that's that's just not good. It's not good. It's not gonna work like this. So I'm actually gonna support this from the bottom here. I'm going to remove both of these, but before I do that, I'm going to run an edge here. And this one probably gonna go like this. Now let me see. Um, yeah, this one has to go. I'm sorry, bro, but you have to go. And yeah, this one gotta go here. And this one's gonna go here. And I think, nope, that's too close. Okay, fair enough. How about this? Can you do that? You can. Well done. Well done. Here. This one. And this one's gonna go here. It's gonna be too close, isn't it? So let's do this. And this one we don't need. And this one's gonna go like this. And it's peachy. Kind of. No, it's not. Oops, not this one. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I want to do. You bastard. Here too. Okay. 
all right and now you know if i really wanted to i mean i don't have to because it's just inside but if i really wanted to i could just run the um uh, the edge all around here so do something like this okay and then go to y and offset and just make offset big enough that will actually go further than the bevel because if you, you know if this edge gonna end on the bevel you're gonna have a bad day so let's move this one down just slide it and there's a you know disaster in here so let's move it like this so we need to remove this edge and this edge preferably wait let me get in here really close and how's my viewport looking here yes that's what i was afraid of zero zero one there you go oh, this clipping is annoying here let's remove these two ah right so let's do this uh, okay oh i see i see this edge there we go and this one this is kind of big angle um you know, I could actually do is simply slide this one a bit to the left and do something like this, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be okay. Yeah. Right, and on the top, how are we looking? Well, we're not looking too hot. Uh, let's fix this and this, and yeah, this one actually can go this one should go here and this one should disappear rhyming hard surface slang with you should start a podcast or something um hmm that's a tough one over there this triangle but you see it actually supports everything we need to do we can do this to clean the shading for a minute this one will be fine uh, this one is not ideal, but you know what? It's okay. Well, actually, it's not okay. I don't know why I'm spending so much time on this. I mean, I don't really have to because it's hidden, but... I just, you know, it's these German genes, man. They don't go away. It's just like a... Gloom of doom. Yeah. So, you see, you, you know, you can really clean it if you want to. Right? And there you go. Let's let's go just for the sake of argument. Let's go to the uh, this mud cup here. Where is it? I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this because it's quite dark in here. But you see, the shading is actually pretty good. See what I mean? And I have a fuck ton of angons. I mean, fuck ton of angons on a curved surface, because you know this surface is sort of curved, right? And there's a tube, you know, stuck in the middle of it you know and you got just clean bloody shading it's really tough to manipulate the camera in here let me try to sort of reposition it here yeah it really looks good you know i mean i don't see any major issues right comparing probably comparing to other sides gonna look you know like night and day because the other side wasn't actually retouched yet so we're gonna have some shading breaks here you see all over the place right so you can really clean a surface i don't really understand this obsession with quads it's just bullshit if you don't need quads you don't need quads and no one's gonna tell me i need fucking quads grab this here let's turn this off because i'm getting psychedelic here psychedelic vibes yeah probably okay just maybe maybe run this way it's gonna be all right i'm not gonna be doing too much cleanup on this side because really i just don't care let's see what we're doing merge it here merge this one to this one and we can remove this whoops there we go and here you see it's hot lining the bevel again here it's just it's always the same thing it's just it's all about angles guys it's understanding how angles work with bevels it's just so easy you know I, I i can see you know which one's gonna work which one will not work it's just you do it for you know for like for a few models so you know what's going on 
how the shading will break. Um, I think this one's gonna be better. It's gonna hotline with this and this, so we need to move this one higher. And it's not high enough, so let's do this. And let's do this, maybe. Should be fine. This one is still too steep, so let's move it up. Remove something I shouldn't remove. Yeah, this one is too close, so I'm gonna move it outside. This is the bevel wrench here, so you need to move it outside the bevel wrench. Now it's hotlining with this. Interesting. So if we remove. Um, this is gonna be a problem here. How about if we move this outside? There we go. This one is still hotlining. Move it down a bit. Sort it. Perfect. All right, we spent way too much time on this, but maybe I'm gonna pick up something on cleaning geo on bevels and bullions. Not the cutters, that's not what I want. I want glass. Right. Okay, so uh, power save because blender. What I wanted to do now is put some uh, like a net on um, on these tubes. It's a miracle I didn't forget what I wanted to do. Um, so, oh, that's uh, yeah. How about no? Oh, that's why we were doing it because we couldn't select this loop. I just forgot why we were doing the cleanup in the first place. Anyway, um, let's panel this. I think maybe no. Let's let's shift D this right and P to note sel own selection and let's bring it. Um, uh, did I move it? I did move it. Okay, let's bring it in here and let's get rid of all the modifiers because we don't need them. Now, um, let's maybe apply sharpens uh, because why the hell not? Now, what we're gonna do is, I mean, you could do this manually, but um, well, I'm just gonna go lazy mode. I um, mean, you could just add loops, but I'll try to go for quadrimash and see how it goes. We have 446, 56, right? I can't see because of the mic. 500. Let's go for 1,000, um, 1, uh, 4,000 4, maybe. Um, remesh it. Yeah, see, I just add ons, man. I mean, come on. <laughs> I know it's 120 bucks this add on, but I don't give a shit. It just saves me time and headaches. I just don't care. I see it differently. I see it as an investment. You know, all these courses or whatever I buy, materials, um, you know, like kid bashes if you need them it's just all tools i mean these are tools um i just don't care it's tools if i need it i'm just gonna get money and get it um right so let's control i this and let's do a nifty trick of uh, selecting checker deselecting and let's go to object mode because i can't bloody see what i'm doing um and then Control shift b to do something like this maybe and right let me see that that's not what i wanted let's do it this again Control shift b that's what i wanted smaller uh smaller smaller um squares let's remove that so where it's gone and then select all the faces and press on inset twice and go easy on it then press x to delete faces and let's go for solidify where are you solidify here now and we're gonna have to sharpen it so boom it's gonna take a while because it's a few words there Let's see how it looks first, because I don't know if I'm going to like it or I'm going to hate it. I really don't know. Let's actually solidify this a bit more. So let's uh, give it a bit more oomph. And let's scale it on X. I mean, on sorry, on Y. So it's going to actually get into this pipe. Sort of like that. And let's maybe mirror this across. Active origin is fine, I think. No, it isn't. Uh, cursor. Come on. 
Really now? Wait, I'm changing the wrong thing. Yeah, I'm losing it. There we go. I was like, why is it not working? Um, okay, so now let's go to our... This mountain. Yeah, that looks good, man. See, it's kind of like... Uh, it breaks the light inside, okay? So it just doesn't look boring. It just breaks light. Especially it's going to be visible if I'm going to switch the... Um, the material to this uh, shiny one. See? Look at that. Look at this sexiness inside of this tube. It's oozing sexiness. It's a Brazilian tube. Walking down the Rio Beach in thongs. No, it's a wrong image. It's a very wrong image. Now, um, let's hide this glass and... I want to do something more here on this, on this bed. So let's grab this thing and not this one, this one, there you go. And I want to do is um, select all these, uh, these things inside, but it's going to be difficult. So instead of doing that, what we're going to do is select uh, this loop and this loop and shift D them and selection, boom. And then it's going to be tough to see it. So um, I'll see. We weren't gonna be able to go to Alt Z in this mode, so Alt Z, grab this local mode, perfect. And now let's go to Verts, and I don't think it's gonna bridge it correctly, but we could always try. Ouch! So we're gonna grab the Verts and simply go with uh, face, right? And then just uh, face it around. Like this. Perfect. Now, you know what? We're just going to insert um, some loops in here. But again, we can do the same trick as we did with um, with this. But I want to do something else here. So, let's solidify this. So, inside, right? And let's insert some loops in here. Um, so, maybe this many. And let's do something like this. And then... Um, Scale it inwards. Now you see we got this beveling going accidentally and it looks really cool. I'm digging this thing. But it's a bit too tall you see because it's clipping our our pipe. So let's go back and and I cannot see what I'm doing. Let's turn this bevel for one second and so we can see what we're doing. So um E cancel and shift um, come on, shift S, yeah, like this. And what I'm going to do actually is reduce this solidify effect to bring this a little bit down. So shift, I mean, alt S, not too, not too deep. So there's a space and bring this bevel in, which is going to play havoc with my geo. Where's my geo? Jesus Christ, I cannot see anything. My tube exploded. Oh my god, this is... This is a disaster, isn't it? Is it this one? No. This one. Turn off the bevel. I'm going to apply a new bevel. It's gonna be easier. So, let's grab this thing. And let's apply a bevel from scratch. So, let's change the profile to one. And I really like this chamfer effect. I really dig this. It's going to make it look like a machine stuff. So I'm going to add second bevel on it by pressing control bevel. And it's going to add second bevel. Now I'm going to make this bevel smaller. So, um, yeah, it's going to slow down. So that's a chamfer, right? Let's actually adjust it from, from here. So um, let's go to the second bevel and... Um, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. So we need to make it smaller. Much smaller. That's bigger. We need to make it smaller. Just a tiny one. Okay, fine. I'm going to do it manually. It's still too big. So let's go for zero, zero, 001. Perfect. 
Actually, maybe that's too small. Let's go for 003. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So now we got some light breakage inside. Looks pretty cool, man. I'm digging it. Let's see if it's gonna be actually okay with with this material. I don't think so. I think it's gonna be a bit too flashy, but let's hide this glass for a sec. And let's see if we can get something else in here going on because it's a little bit too flash for me. Maybe let's try the eight. Oh, this one is much, but you see that? It's like, um, it's reflective, but it's not that reflective. That's what I like. Looks a bit like silver or um, a bit like polished titanium or something. Um, yeah, this one is a bit too reflective. I'm going to just drop the roughness on it because I really don't like, I hate chrome. I think I'm allergic to chrome. So this one still is a bit too flash, but you know, it's behind the window, like a glass. So maybe it's okay, I mean. And again, this is EV, so cycle's gonna be completely different, right? I'm not gonna be um, uh, rendering this in EV because, you know, quality matters. Shift D, and I wanna actually copy one of these particles in here, make it really small, like tiny, kind of somewhere here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. So now we could add some simple material, I mean, no material, detail to, to these, you know, tubes here. So maybe just the ring and sort of, we could actually do it on both at the same time. So here and here. Um, you know, I could, I could um, mirror this, but they just can't be bothered. So I'm just going to do it this way. It's only two of them. And I'm going to press um, E, Alt, S, scale it up, and then um, scale it on the um, individual origins, and then go to checker deselect, but go to face mode maybe first, so it's going to work better. And come on, checker deselect doesn't work. Oh, it works on the one. Yeah, that's a problem I was uh, I'm having with Blender. I don't know why. It doesn't work on multiple objects, and that's kind of... It's a bit of a bummer, to be honest. Let's... Can we actually do this? Ah, it's gonna cause problems, because... Is this solidified? Let me see. Ah, right, it's solidified, that's why. It's not been applied yet. Okay, fine. Let's apply solidify. I'm fine with that. Uh, let's go back to checker deselect and do it again. So inset and then E and move it inside. Come on. Oh, come on, you bastard. I'm just going to scale it myself. Okay, that's how you want to play, fine. Okay, how deep we gonna go? Doesn't matter really because we're gonna see the inside, right? So something like this. Yeah, it just looks, you know, adds some more interest over there. So I'm just gonna flip it across the cursor. But before I do that, I'm gonna bring cursor to select it and mirror this across the cursor. Boom. And we're done. And I think it looks cool looking cool well thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it drop us a like and subscribe if you did and i'll talk to you in part three